Triton Stormwater Solutions represents the next generation of stormwater management technology. Lighter, larger, stronger and more environmentally friendly than competitive products, the Triton system gives you power over water. The following video is intended to serve as a supplement to the Triton installation manual. It gives a visual reference to the actions outlined in the manual. It is not designed as a replacement for the manual, but rather to supplement it. All instructions outlined in the manual need to be observed, as video length prohibits showing all steps. The City of St Cloud's Civic Centre expansion project provides an ideal demonstration of the proper installation of a double-stacked Triton stormwater solution system. The project team first prepared a 36-foot by 140-foot drain field to facilitate the stormwater demands of the expansion of the Civic Centre. Note the use of accepted geotextile, visible at the sides of the drain field, along with the washed, crushed, angular stone base layer. Listings of acceptable fill materials and geotextiles are found on pages 8 and 9 of the Triton installation manual. For applications where stormwater is reused, then a liner is installed over the geotextile and under the stone base. Triton chambers conveniently stack for easy transport. The St Cloud project team utilised a specially designed chamber transport skid created in conjunction with Triton's engineering staff as well as a crane sling to ready chambers for placement. The site plan dictates the first tier orientation. The Triton chambers are simple to place and properly position, but care must be taken to build the rows following the directional arrows stamped on each chamber. Also, rows must be separated by a minimum of 7.5 inches. Triton recommends utilising a string line to ensure that the first row of chambers is straight. After the first row is properly aligned, the remainder of the parallel rows can simply be measured to keep them straight. At just £32 each, several chambers are easily carried by one worker. Proper positioning is easy to maintain as the Triton chambers fit together securely and are clearly marked with arrows to indicate build direction. A two-man crew can easily place hundreds of chambers in a single day once the site is prepared. You will note that the Triton chambers also have pre-marked locations for cutouts to be made in cases where inspection ports are desired or row-to-row -row connections are called for. By using these pre-located ports, the strength and integrity of the Triton chambers is maintained. With the Triton chambers in place, the drain field is ready for the placement of stone. Because the St Cloud installation called for a double stack of Triton chambers, the first layer of crushed angular stone will be built up to one foot above the chamber height. During this process, the chambers are anchored by ladling stone directly over the chamber's centre lines. Frequent checks are needed to ensure that proper distance between chamber rows is maintained and that the amount of stone around the chamber does not exceed 12 inches from one side of the chamber to the other. Stone may be placed through a variety of means, but the use of a telescoping conveyor boom truck is the most efficient and cost-effective way to place the stone. Refer to the Triton installation manual for approved stone delivery methods and fill rates. The Triton system allows for a variety of pre-treatment options, including sediment traps, oil separators and pollution mitigation devices. These can be incorporated into the collection basins or the main header row. After the placement of stone with an excavator, a dozer may be used to spread and level the material in accordance with page 6 of the installation manual. Note that stone is always pushed parallel to the chamber rows to avoid shifting chambers out of position. In a double stack system, the second tier of chambers is placed at 90 degrees to the first. Again, the crew begins the simple process of placing the chambers in position. It is critical that each chamber be seated properly on the one that precedes it in a row, and this is easily facilitated by the Triton system's design. While not visible to the eye, the chamber's end corrugations are sized differently to allow for an overlapping joint. It is crucial that the chamber placement does not exceed the reach of the construction equipment used to place the stone. 
In large projects, it may be necessary to build the chamber rows in phases to facilitate delivery of stone. Much of the success of the Triton system is due to the innovative main header row, which serves as a collection point for stormwater to be distributed out to the chamber rows. This centralised collection point allows for easy pre-treatment when needed and also makes capturing and later removing sediments easy. This overview shows a proper chamber placement and backfill scenario. Note that the stone has settled down between the chamber rows, securely anchoring the chambers and leaving no gaps. The importance of site preparation cannot be overstated. When the base layer is smooth and level, chamber placement is simple and efficient. Utilising the specified backfill material ensures that the chambers are properly supported and will maintain the proper alignment both vertically and laterally. Here the proper orientation of chambers in a double stacked installation, 90 degrees between tiers, can also be seen. Depending on the specific demands of the site, infiltration rates can be controlled through the use of sediment flooring. In most cases, the Triton main header row utilises an impervious smooth flooring layer to collect and hold sediments, which are then easily removed. This helps to prevent sediments from entering the distribution rows and restricting infiltration over time. Additionally, installing at least three sediment floors per distribution row helps eliminate scouring of the stone when water enters from the main header row or when pipes are directly connected to the end caps of each row. After the chambers are placed, catch basins are aligned and connected and visual inspection is completed. The fill process of anchoring chambers with crushed, washed angular stone begins. Again, it is critical to make sure that stone is placed at a careful pace to ensure that no gaps are left between chamber rows and proper separation of the chamber rows is maintained. Once the backfill covers the chambers to a sufficient depth, light machinery can be used to spread and level the material in accordance with the Triton installation manual. In this installation, 9.5 inches of fill will be placed over the top tier of chambers as a preparation for the layer of pavement that will become the Civic Centre's parking lot. Please refer to the Triton installation manual to verify accepted fill materials and fill depth requirements for approved users. Hi, uh, my name is Paul Molitor and I'm with Molitor Excavating and uh, we installed the, the Triton system. Um, it was our first time installing it and it went together quite well for, uh, for, for being the first, first installation ever for us. Uh, I would highly recommend a Triton system to anyone. Thank you. When you need a comprehensive stormwater management system that can stack up against the most demanding applications, rely on Triton Stormwater Solutions. We give you power over water.